multiple challenger events. So he is a, one of the best players in the world. Yeah, he's number two in wins out of our field of 82. And you can see Troy Jefferson. Joey Bosa was a big-time player a week ago. And here he is in True Boys lineup. He is, wreaks havoc off the edge. But Marcus Allen is going to dictate the pace and the flow of the game for True Boys offense. He can't fumble for True Boy. Uh-oh, Randy Moss. <laughs> oh, yeah, McNair and Moss. Surprise, <laughs> surprise. You're going to see True Boy going downfield a lot to Randy Moss as his number one vertical threat. Well, he's the Jaguars champ in the club series. On the other side, you got the guy that represented the Steelers. And I don't know, he's got that shirt for distraction? Is that some sort of strategy? Taking a page out of young Kiv's book. He's got the floral design. He actually hit me up in my DM, slid into them, and I said, hey, Gibbs, <laughs> what shirt should I wear? That was my pick right there, my recommendation. So fire flames right there for misery. Well, he's a guy that's number five in, in passing here. So he's going to be using these money picks here. But on the back end, he's got Champ Bailey and Deion Sanders to really lock things down. Deion Sanders will be matched up against that Randy Moss throughout the course of the game. Watch for Champ Bailey to get some tipped interceptions in this one as well. Marshawn Lynch, does he fall forward on a consistent basis? I want to watch that in big pivotal moments of the game. And then, of course, Randy Moss and Donovan McNabb. A little bit of mobility to get from sideline to sideline for his offense. Well, the interesting thing in looking at these two rosters here, but we're going to – first, let's get to the scouting report before I get ahead of myself. Brought to you by our good friends at Xbox. For True Boy, we've seen his emotions in the past get the best of him where he kind of gets off his rocker. He's a player that uh, has gotten to positions where emotions take over from him. If he can stay composed here, he will have a great chance to get out of here. The first question I have is, when one thing goes against his, his approach, one thing of adversity, how does he handle himself? Well, besides wearing cruise wear – attire what does misery got to do welcome to the big stage <laughs> misery he has played competitive man for a very long time but this is his first ever ea major live event he has played in the club series yes he did very well there but you are now on the hot seat you're on the hot lights how do you perform well let's start week number two of the madden 17 championship and true boy will receive and he'll bring it out of his own end zone and Hill finds some room out to the 34-yard line, and that's where the number two player in the world will start with the ball. Yeah, and watching True Boy play all this week in his lab games, his practice games, uh, we've been seeing him struggle a little bit yeah. in, those, in those practice games. He hasn't felt the best he's ever played, but he's got an opportunity to put it all behind him now. His best finish of the year was number three at the Madden Challenge. And there is Marcus Allen, the former USC Trojan, takes it to the 45-yard line. We see this is how True Boy likes to start a lot of games. He comes out under center, wants to run the ball, establish the ground game. He has Marcus Allen in the backfield. We'll see he consistently goes here if he gets big chunks of yards like that. High right, formation once again. We'll go to Allen. And Marcus will get past the 50. And he's already in plus territory at the 45. I like that he's attacking this nickel blitz style of defense. This is one of the most popular blitzes you'll see in the entire tournament. You're going to see here two defenders stacked in the middle of the field right there for misery, but Marcus Allen cutting in between the, in between the guards. Two plays, two first downs for True Boy. Back in the eye once again. Look at no defenders in the middle of the field. You see True Boy moves him back in. Or... This time Dion was able to cut him off, and Ray comes up with a big tackle. Gain of none, second and ten. A great way to attack this defense on the bottom right there, that nickel blitz, is, is to run towards where the user defender is. That's the player that your opponent is virtually controlling. And you can see the game plan right here out of the, out of the jump here. True Boy attacking that user run. He's had two good runs. I want to see him keep doing that. So second and ten, still in the eye formation. Goes to the run. This time gets a block. First down and more. He's down to the 32. And another, a little bit of tempo. Another nice run right there for True Boy off the edge. Switching it up. You can see Misery comes out of the nickel defense, goes to Dollar. Two extra corners on the field here and here. Yeah, only three down linemen. It's that eye formation running attack. It's for an interior run right there. Play clock running down, and he'll use his first timeout of the day. Right out the gate, already wasting the time out there, but you can't take him with him in the second half, but he wants to get into the right play here against this defense. Well, he went with up-tempo there and didn't like what he saw. And Marcus Allen maybe just needed a breather 
And he's going to pick up nine yards. He's already got five carries for 43 yards. Just running at will against Misery's defense. Misery needs to bring these safeties up in the box, play a little bit more aggressive here. There it is. There's the safety brought up. He brings the other one up. That's going to help his run defense. Well, it was a two top ten passing offense, and it's been nothing but the running game, and he's knocking on the door of the red zone. Uh, if you remember back to uh, our previous uh, uh, season last year, this is the staple of how True White played. A lot of running the ball. He started passing more, but back to form here. See True Boy there, focused in. Misery's got on the cruise wear, and he's getting an all-you-can-eat of the running game right up the gut. Zero passes at this point for True Boy. So at some point, you're going to start seeing Misery get more and more aggressive defensively, start blitzing some of these inside linebackers to stop the run. Pistol formation now up underneath the Allen. We've seen it all. Falls forward for two yards. It's going to be a bring up a big third and five. On the season, True Boy has converted third downs at 48% of the time. That's number 20 out of 32. Bunching it up to the right. Burking out orders is Steve McNair. And back to the run. And he almost slipped that final tackler, and he's down to the six. And how about having the confidence in your run game for True Boy, third and five. He goes to the ground. You can see quick handoff left to right. Marcus Sound getting great blocks upfield. Tyreek Hill getting a great block on a downfield corner. So first and goal from the six. Millard will dot the I as Marcus Allen takes a breather. And Millard, why not? Right at the one-yard line. I thought he was going to take the glory. Marcus Allen took him all the way down the field, and I thought Millard was going to take the six. What a guy that Miller guy is. I want a teammate. He's going to let Allen get back in the game and try to punch it in here. Play number 11, 10 straight runs for True Boy. And Marcus Allen checks in on second and goal, and Aaron McNair. Dives in, and we got our first score of Group E. Right out the gate, let's just check the uh, keys to the game for <laughs> True Boy. Stay composed, a four-minute drive, and he ran the ball all over Misery. That is a problem for Misery as we continue in this game. How are you going to stop the run for Mr. Eli True Boy Clayton? Yeah, four minutes, 11 plays, 65 yards. And sometimes that can be quite demoralizing, just to have an unstoppable running game. And that's a way not to turn it over. Keep the ball on the ground if you can hang on to the pumpkin. Let's go to our first Ooh. game break of the day with Zach. Thanks, Scott. You're looking at Silent Soldier in the cowboy uniforms. Tevin Coleman looking like True Boy. However, he stalled out in the red zone. The 31 seed low, some great defense. It's 3-0 over here. I'll keep you guys up to date. Appreciate it, Zach. Looking forward to that all day. And kicking field goals is a good way to go home. So first and ten. Misery's going to have to answer. Trailing by a touchdown. And he goes to a delay. And that's Marshawn Lynch. Now a Raider. Able to pick up five. Quick inside run. The halfback draw. Great way to attack. Coverage style defenses where defenders are dropping into coverage. So second and five, back to Lynch. Good stick. And Lynch goes to the 42-yard line, first and 10 for Misery. And we talked about it. These guys are coming in, one of the two top passing guys in the entire tournament. We have yet to see the ball leave the quarterback's hand. And yeah, when you run the ball well like both these guys, why would you not? I mean, great cut on that last play by Misery, though, on that run. He had that interior A-gap run. A user defender from the True Boy was coming through. He cuts it off to the left edge and bangs it up for the first down. Second time out of the half. Used there by True Boy. Didn't like what he saw as McNabb. Back of the gun, he'll go to Lynch. Lynch, he's a tough man to break down, and he spins to the 49, just shy of midfield. And wow, the first quarter is over, my friend.
no passes yet in this one, but here's what I like about what's happening for both players. When you get into the rhythm of a game and you only have to show your running plays to start a game, that saves your offense for later game situations, and that's what we'll see from here. Who's going to go to the air first? That's when the game will break open. We don't need no stinking passes. <laughs> Second and three at midfield, and Marshawn Lynch, no skittles for you, third down. Good interior run defense right there. We were able to get a block shed for those of you new at home. Block sheds refers to when a defender is able to literally get off of a block from the opposing offensive lineman. You saw that in the interior there for the run defense. So big third and four for Misery. Trailing by seven here in the opening half. Game number one here of Group E just getting started. And a full slate of Madden here on a Saturday. Good pressure. Phenomenal McNabb defense. throws it away, yeah. Double edge pressure off the left edge there for True Boy. He lined up two linebackers off that left edge. That's where you're able to see the pressure come off the uh, off the left side of the field. No answer for pass protection there for Misery. Even though I would punt on that shirt, he's not going to punt on fourth down. Fourth and four. Needs it. Blocks it. Joy Bosa. And he takes a sack on fourth Need down. That. But Joey Bosa all over it. Bosa played a pivotal role in this one already. He was one of the top picks. You can see off the left edge here, he comes on in, takes down the quarterback, he wins his one-on-one -on -one battle. That's what you need your defensive lineman to do in those situations. That's why you get a Joey Bosa on your roster. Yeah, left tackle turned into a human turnstile there on fourth down. And here on first and 10, it's more of Marcus Allen. And he gets to the 22-yard line. He's averaging 7.5 a carry, Gibbs. Yeah, True Boy mentioning to get off of that nickel if you're misery for good reason. He's running in the middle of the field against the user. And yeah, pulling the line once again. He's down to the 13. Let's go to game break with Zach. Los looking tough on his first drive. Ten plays, nine of them passes. Tom Brady, Dallas Clark. He's up 7-3. It's good to see some passing. Los taking the lead over there. Color rush. Color rush for the Bucks looking good. But Marcus Allen. Feeling like he's back at Southern Cal in the mid-70s with his I formation. He's down to the two, first and goal. Real, really important to note right now what we're seeing from Misery. He's playing an all-out aggressive defense. All his linebackers are blitzing. He's bringing the safety up, and he still can't stop the run. The big dog's up front for Eli Trueboy Clayton. He spent the most cap on his offensive line in the tournament, and you're seeing it pay dividends here in this first game. Are we playing Bill Walsh college football on Sega mm -hmm. Genesis? <laughs> Listen. I mean, this is a strategy done by True Boy here. He came into the tournament spending the most on his old line. Yep. A lot of people question that. There's been a lot of joking backstage. Oh, why are you spend all this old line? You're seeing him dominate the line of scrimmage right here. 15 rushes, zero passes, and he's scoring at will here. That was his first tackle for loss for misery. This time able to get to the edge, but could not get away from Ray. That's that campus hero with a big time tackle. Phenomenal shoestring tackle right there. Saves the touchdown. Great stick work once again from True Boy. Cuts it off the edge. Here we go. Ball on the four. Air McNair? Question mark. <laughs> it's all been on the ground. And here's Allen. Can't win the battle. And he's going to get stopped at the three. And now it's fourth and goal. You got the lead. I think you kicked the kick the three here, don't you, Gibbs? You kicked the three here to go up two scores. It, it's really important to always go up two possessions because it creates a, uh, a a game situation where it's all about time. Right now, you have to play the clock rather than play the the drive or the situation. So, good decision here from True Boy. And a heads up play here. He's going to use even more of that game clock here in the second quarter. And that one's. Up and it's good, and we got a 10-0 game. Misery now has to go to work. Yeah, and just another point to talk about True Boy, how much uh, salary cap he spent. We're playing Madden Ultimate Team salary cap. Each player uh, has their own defined cost that is associated to their team. And True Boy almost spent the same amount of cap on his Ooh. offensive line compared to his receiving core. So that really shows you why we're seeing him dominate the line of scrimmage here. And this is going to be a story that we're going to see unfold throughout not only this game, but the rest of the games in this group. Yeah, his receiving cap is number 30 out of 32, way down there. And we're just 20 minutes into the broadcast, and we're right here at the two-minute warning. 
And Lynch will fall down at the 33. And there's the two minute warning, second and six. If you just join us, Group E, we just got started here. It's an absolutely run battle in game number one between True Boy and Misery. We still got five more sets of games coming your way today. Eight players already know they're playing next weekend. Who will be the next eight? And there is Green. Big fan. If you got Ladarius Green on your team, I'm, I'm, I'm buying what you're laying down. Yeah, he's a vertical style uh, tight end. It can really stretch the defense from sideline to sideline. He's also downfield, a lot of speed. Not great in the run game, but really great as a receiver. Watch for pressure off this left edge here. And back to the run after the first completed pass of the game. Gibbs, have you ever seen a game go this long in when you finally get the first passing attempt of the game? I have not. I, I really haven't. Not, especially in a big time competitive matchup like this in a championship style tournament. Both these guys playing a little bit of timid, but I think it's more True Boy style gameplay right now. Yeah, you, sometimes you got one guy that's willing to Problem. ground and pound. Yeah, but very rarely you have two. Great user. McNabb rolling out and he just has to throw it away. And let's check in with Zach for the game break. Scott, you are looking live at Los. He just took over on downs. A big stop against Silent Soldier. And now he is going to the seam. I'll keep you guys up to date. Looks like Los is entering the red zone. That's a big time drive over there, Zach, for Los. If he can go up two scores. And a big hit. But able to hold on down at the 25 was Ocho Cinco. I want to watch everyone here. Joey Bosa starting to cause problems for Misery's offensive line. So first and 10, under a minute to go. And this is big. I mean, three would be nice. Touchdown is almost, feels like it's a must. Yeah, well, three, three is great here because you still get ball at half. So right. it gives you a great chance to still tie the game, but obviously going for that touchdown. But I like the more aggressive tone here for Misery, passing. Able to pick up the blitz. And then Julio Jones. Why not? You're Don in the Falcons, Unis. Why not go to Uncle Julio? Dominant performance from Julio Jones. Really difficult to defend. Now, if you're in this spot here, watch for quick passes over the middle of the field here. Or a run. He still has three timeouts. I think that's why he's willing to go to the ground. And he'll burn his first. So 22 ticks left in the half. Ball at the 11. If you're going to pass it in, this is the place to do it. Yeah, and if you're true boy, and for those of you watching at home, a really difficult part of the field to defend with all of the way people want to attack, but you really need to watch for the deep sidelines in the back of the end zone here. Protect this part of the field, that part of the field, and right here. That's Those are the areas you need to defend against here. The high point passes to Randy Moss is what leaves a lot of our competitors not being able to sleep at night. Second and eight, goes back to the ground, and there is Marshawn Lynch. Just scoring touchdown so he won't get fined. Great play call right there for Misery. Goes to the run. We saw a very uh, spread out defense here from True Boy. All his defenders, yes, they're in the box, but you had that matchup with your offensive line. One on one off that right edge. He gets the seal. Marshawn Lynch does the rest. One field goal game now. Well, maybe offensive line doesn't matter for the passing game sometimes. But in the running game, he spent 192 of his cap, the most of anyone in our field of 32. And let's see if True Boy can use that to his advantage here with 15 seconds. On the other side, Misery only spent 85. That's number 24 of 30. And he has been able to move the ball on the ground as well. McNair. Takes a sack, has one timeout, and he's going to use it. Yeah, and that sack is more of a product of True Boy playing aggressive here with only one timeout, looking to air the ball downfield. You know, he has to try and get the ball downfield to get into position, but not a lot of time left, especially with no timeouts. And yeah, try to go four verts there. Second and 19. Doesn't have any. Careful. Whoa. Boy, you got to be really careful throwing a pass like that, and that's how the half will expire with True Boy. Leading by three, big time scorer there before the half by Misery. 
I mean, great performance by both players. They are playing exactly how they want to play. Misery, the first one to really open up his passing game a little bit. But still, I think Trueboy, this was his game plan, and I think he's showing that all of that time spent crafting that offensive line. I saw him with Jay Mills uh, in the lab games all week, really working that offensive line to get the best combination out there, and it's paying off for him in this one. Well, it's halftime, so let's go to Dave and the gang. Thanks a lot, guys. Rico, that rock-solid pick starting to look a little bit better. Hang on. Oh, Yeah, but just before we get to anything about the picks and all that, I got just one thing to say. We look phenomenal. Oh. <laughs> as you can see, my rock-solid picks aren't just held to Madden. They're fashion as well. Yes, and uh, clearly I did not, uh, was not CC'd on that email uh, this time around, but you guys do look fantastic, I will say. The Hall of Fame looking jackets here. Uh, Rico, let's get some Hall of Fame analysis here. We, we first, look first about half. as good as True Boy's running offense right now, <laughs> which is absolutely flawless and unstoppable. Everybody knew coming into this that you had to stop True Boy, you had to stop his run. Misery hasn't even slowed it down. He has a speed bump defense right now. He needs to figure out something, lock down that. He got his momentum on offense. He gets the ball back. He has chance to take control of this game. Yeah, he's in a really good position for how bad the run defense was early. He can make those adjustments. When you're going against an elite offensive line like True Boy has, it is very, very difficult to stop the run, but a clutch misery drive. We saw that all throughout the club series, those end of half, end of game drives. He got a big one right there because he gets the ball coming up in the second half. He definitely does. This is not the only game going on. We saw a couple game breaks, Zach, during our, our stream game. Silent Soldier and Lowe's. What'd you see in this one? Yeah, this is Silent Soldier that you're looking at. I saw a heavy, heavy dose of Tevin Coleman. However, I saw some good red zone defense from Lowe's. He held him to a field goal. He's fired up right now. He got the touchdown to make it 7-3. to three. And this one stayed at 7-3, to three, Dave. Nicely done. Thank you, Zach. I want to remind everybody that Xbox One S is the ultimate games and 4K entertainment system for Madden NFL 17 fans. Play with your friends on Xbox Live, the fastest, most reliable gaming network, and watch 4K Blu-ray movies. We are just getting started here with our group, our second weekend here of Madden Championship action. This is our first game, guys. We have got a lot of matchups coming on later today. We see Trueboy taking on Los. Everybody looking forward to that one. And of course, the Madden Classic Champion Spot Me Please will be taking on Monsta. I'm Wild and Duke. Now, before we head over to Drea with Misery, guys, Quick second, we got to take a look at your uh, your new buddy cop show that's coming out uh, this fall. Is that right? I am soliciting names for our brand new show, Rico <laughs> Farrell, some type of buddy cop drama. I'm the straight edge guy one. Rico, he's out there. It's going to be a great show. I tune in. Yeah, I tune in. The people need to see this. Guys, tune in on Twitter. Let these guys know what the good show title might be for that. For now, let's go down to Drea on the field with Misery. Thanks so much, Dave. Misery, you started out the game committed to the run. That last drive, you mixed it up more balanced through the air and on the ground. How much more of that can we see in the second half from you? Uh, I'm going to run it all second half. I, got, I mean, I got to stop him, like Rico said, on the run. He's just running all over me. So once I slow that down and start making him pass, maybe be a little bit better. I might be able to win this game. Well, you mentioned it. Obviously, he's just a beast on the ground. What adjustments do you need to make as far as defensively on that side of the ball? <sighs> got to do something. He's running all over me. Uh, like I said, I got to make him pass. But right now he's having his will on offense. All right, well, we'll see what happens in the second half. Best of luck. Thank you. All right, let's send it to Scott and Gibbs. All right, thank you so much, Drea. Well, 10-7 to 7 at the half. One of the fastest first halves I think we've ever had in the history of Madden football. Well, when you run the ball like both players did, you're going to get a quick half like we saw there. I want to see, though, does True Boy come out and still try to run the ball? I think he will. He ran the ball so well. Uh, but what happens when we get into a situation where he has to pass? <laughs> that will be interesting because he's not in rhythm with his passing game right now because he's really dominating on the line of scrimmage. You're seeing Misery get out front, start passing a little bit here. He's going to get into the flow of the second half. I like Misery making a little bit of a comeback here because of that. Well, Misery was one of the top players in our 32 for taking the ball away uh, when, when people try to go to the air on him. I don't know if that factored into True Boy's decision to go with the ground game. We got Misery trailing by a field goal, and he'll start the half at the 29-yard line. Last time we saw this defensive front from True Boy, Marshawn Lynch walked into the end zone. And he'll go back to the run. Lynch. Not able to go anywhere. And this time he gets the stop there. So now, okay, you get a stop on first. And that's that's how you get your opponent to, to go to the air, right? You get a stop on first down. You get them into a long situation. No one wants to be in third and long. That's where you're going to see them go to the air. 
16th play of the game for Misery. The Jordy with the run, but he's mixed in some passing. Facing the second and nine. McNabb. And Moss Ooh. can't hold on. That would have been a big gain out near the 47-yard line, but it's third and nine. Yeah, Moss, a great vertical receiver, but that is some of the problems you have with him. He will drop uh, passes in traffic. Passing game is yet to find a rhythm. Watch for Johnson right there in the middle of the field, in the bunch. Now motion out, Julio to the right. Throws it deep. There's oh Johnson, my. and he catches it behind the defense, and Ocho Cinco will go in for six. Yeah, we called that out there. You can see the route he wanted to set up off the left edge. He put a hot route on the field. That is an adjustment with the quarterback. He oh, put him on a comeback. He misses the uh, extra oh, wow. point. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Seeing a little bit of young Kiv goes mad from last week. But right here, you can see the, the comeback on the outside right there opens up that deep corner down the field to Johnson. Rack, rack city right there. Touchdown. Big play for Misery. Well, you talked about welcome to the Fox. big stage. And there's no bigger stage here than the man in championship when you're playing for six figures sometimes. Oops. Nerves. Really? I mean, you get in the hot, hot seat, that's what happens. You said before the game he looked very nervous. And with his interview with Drea, I would say some nerves was settling in there. But he's got a three-point lead. That missed extra point, though, does keep it just a field goal. Yeah, great way to combat nerves, though. Throw 80-yard touchdown bombs. <laughs> We're okay with that. Second and two. Will True Boy throw the football? And the answer is negatory. Let's go over to Zach with a quick game break. After a huge fourth down stop, Los gets into field goal range. Just before the half, he kicks the long field goal, and he gets ball to start the, start the third quarter, Scott. Wow. Big 53-yarder there. Huge. Thanks, Zach. First and 10 from the 33. Hand it, why not? To the fullback. Give Marcus Allen a break. That'll pick up three. Yeah, and he, so here's what's happening with the defensive front we're seeing. Yes, Dollar is great in stopping the run, but it's, it becomes a matchup problem. When you have six defenders, six offensive linemen in the middle of the field here, there's only five defenders, right? One, two, two linebackers and three defensive linemen that can protect in the middle part of the field. His quarterback will throw the football yes. and Moss yes. can't hang on. And that's the first setup play we've seen in this game here for True Boy. And that's exactly what happens when you start sending extra resources to stop the run. You will get one on one opportunities downfield. Misery was 28 out of 32 and rushing yards against him. Third and seven, though, and a Fumble. nice find on a little playmaker, and that'll pick up 10 in the first down. True Boy did a great job picking up pressure off the edge there from that P.A. Reed, a little play action fake. He's able to use that playmaker feature, send the tight end upfield with his quarterback for the first down. So first and 10 at the 47-yard line. Here you go. He's getting a little more aggressive now, going to get gun trips tight end. The lion's share of the possession. It's been with True Boy, but the lead is with Misery. And Marcus Allen what the heck? can't get away. That's Mike Evans in the out of position at strong safety. A little dump pass in the flat right there. When you get zone defenses, they will drift away from the line of scrimmage. And when you pass the ball out of the backfield, your halfback like that, it's easy pickings on the ground. Second and five. First of three games here in Group E. We'll have True Boy taking on Los next. So if Los is able to win over there and True Boy can't get this one done, then the pressure's really going to be on the number two seed. Yeah, well, Los is a, a man that's come in here prepared on to a mission. play on a mission to win the money. First and 10, Marcus Allen right up the middle, and he'll fall <laughs> forward to the 32. Let's go to Zach for the game break. On that mission is a field goal for Los. Starting that second half drive, not pleased, but he does take a two-score lead. He's up 13-3 over Silent Soldier. All red uniforms for Los, all red controller. Got to coordinate. Fire flames. He's got to coordinate. 
Second and four, and Marcus Allen. It's not like he's out there running against himself. He's got 129 yards on 19 carries. Yeah, take a look at the interior of the field here. There's no defenders in the middle of the field. They're all near the edge. That's where you see a block inside that elite offensive line from True Boy. Easy yards on the ground. It's time to go to Millard. Who will spell Marcus Allen, but still able to pick up five. When you got Millard picking up five, your run defense has a big old question mark next to it. 133 yards on the ground for True Boy. Misery 46. At some point, when does McNair get in the action? That's what I want to know. Yeah, he's a guy that can run it as well. You saw him with the only touchdown of the game for True Boy on a two-yard sneak. Second and five from the nine as the third quarter has tick, tick, ticking away. Yeah, good run defense there now for Misery. Jam in the middle of the field with extra defenders. He's getting very aggressive. And I'll tell you, this is a great spot in a game. Ten-yard line, third and six. You haven't gotten to the a quarterback run yet. Look real great to get McNair on the action. So third and six. McNair, got to get rid of him. He can. And there is Deion Everybody Sanders open. screaming off the edge. That was huge. Big time stop, pressure off that right edge, no answer to pick it up. He had a wide open receiver right there. You can see in the middle of the field, missed opportunity right there for True Boy. So he'll so. have to kick the field goal. Mm. But after that missed extra point by Misery, we're tied up. We're in the fourth quarter of game number one of group E and nothing has been settled. How big of a missed extra point has that now become for, for Misery? It at least cost them one point. I'm not very good at math. <laughs> it's one. <laughs> but it is one. Let's go to Zach with a game break. Silent Soldier with a very quiet seven play, 74 yard drive goes down the seam in traffic for the touchdown. He's trailing 13 mm. 10. A man from Texas rocking that cowboy gear. Not playing like the rookie. First and 10. And Lynch. We'll get to the 30-yard line. He's averaging right around five yards a carry. Ground game working for Misery. The deep passing game working for Misery. Right now, he is in control of this one, even though True Boy has dominated the line of scrimmage. You either need a quick score here or a long, excruciating drive. That doesn't leave True Boy an opportunity. McNabb. Great find. That's Lynch, but he can't hold on. McNabb just four of eight for 119 yards, not his best effort. Yeah, Madden games come down to third down situations, third and fourth down situations. You saw Misery get the stop on the last possession, forcing the field goal. Big opportunity for True Boy here. So third and three at the 30 yard line. Oh. And that was it. That was an absolute right Todd. It, I'll tell you what, in, in the difference right here is you can see a missed opportunity. Uh, right now you're going to punch it in the extra point right here. This is why this game is tied <laughs> right now. That was a chance to go up four, but that's why it's tied. Oh, man. I hope Goes is not watching at home. That, that'll bring a flashback right, from last weekend. Goes. Yeah. Fourth and three. We'll go for it and go deep. Oh, and it's picked no. up. By Ocho Cinco down at the 42. He only needed three. Picks up a huge gain. Great place to attack. Cover two. Split the safeties. Yes, he caught it in traffic, but that is Chad Johnson. Good guy to go to in the middle of the field. Yeah, we've seen him make a lot of plays over the last weekend. And now here in weekend number two is working for misery. He's got the ball at the 41 with 3.45 to go. If he could put together an Eric Problem right drive here, wait, get the ball around the 30 here, and waste three minutes off the clock, he can get out of here the win. Second and nine. A little motion from Moss. They will run it, but Moss can't pick up a block. He gets thrown on the ground and so does Lynch. Yeah, and we're just in the area of the field where you feel a little shaky on your field goal range here for Misery. You know, he's about a 58-yard field goal. You feel a little bit better with about five more yards uh, on, the, on the ground. Well, he only went with the silver, 65 overall Jordan Gay. And my friends, he cannot kick a 58-yarder with a 65, Damn. but he's not going to have to as he works it down to the 25, and now he's in business. 
under three minutes left in the game. Yeah, the story of this one right now is the catches and traffic for Misery in his uh, offense. True Boy not getting the ball drops that you accustomed to seeing in these situations. And you can see some of that emotion starting to come out of him. You gotta oh. stay composed. Misery has leaned all the way forward, filling our entire box in a box. Tie game, he's got a first and 10 from the 25, and he goes back to the run. And that was a big hit from Dixon, but he still picks up two. Yeah, and now we're gonna get into the area of the game where timeouts become a factor, right? You got one more play before we can get to the two-minute warning. Take a look at the pass difference right here. True Boy, 39 yards to Misery's 163. A lot more balance for Misery in this game. Worth noting, True Boy has the 31 ranked defensive backs. So you're wondering how those some of those catch and traffic's happening. Well, you haven't got many horses in the back end of the defense. Speaking of horses, the the old derby today. Yeah, the old derby. I'll give you a long shot. Uh, a, a, a battle at Midway. Battle at Midway is my long shot. I'm going with for the patch. Derby. I'm going with patch. Did you bring a hat? But we got a game going no, here. <laughs> they won't allow me to wear hats. No, that was that was another time, another show. Third and eight. Two-minute warning. Ball at the 23, and he'll go to Lynch. A little bit of a timid play call. And let's see if True Boy decides ah. to use a timeout here or if he's going to allow those 25 seconds to tick off. I, I, I'm really surprised by that. You get into a third and eight, and we talked about welcome to the big stage as a key to the game here. How does he perform? Third and eight. Game on the line. I mean, yes, a field goal. He must have that much confidence in his defense with the way True Boy has been playing, just running the ball, that he feels confident one field goal gets him the win here. He won't take it all the way down, but he'll kick it up and through. And he's got a three-point lead. It would be a... Well, let's, do we have to keep saying it? <laughs> it <laughs> yes. would have been a four-point yes. lead. And now 128 to go. And True Boy takes it out of his own end zone. He'll fall down at the 20. And that's where Steve McNair, and that man right there from nearby Los Angeles, California, Woodland Hills to be exact, has to go to work. Number two ranked player in the world. We've seen him run the ball all game, but is he in the rhythm of a passing offense to get a game winning drive here? Goes to Marcus Allen, he's got three timeouts, so continue to pound the rock. A field goal will tie, touchdown. Would give him the first win of the day. And he needs it. You got Lowe's coming up next, who's playing hot right now. And McNair finds Randy Moss at the 28-yard line. Just a gain of 10, but it's good to see that he can pass the pill. Great read, pressure off the edge. He gets the ball out, finds a wide-open Moss on that left sideline. Beautiful composure in the pocket for a true boy. So now 50 seconds to go. Both guys with three timeouts. Good user. That is a big time hit. Let's go for a quick game break with Zach. Scott, lots of action over here. You're looking live with a minute 20 to go. We've got a third and five. I'm going to give you one play down in the red zone. Silent Soldier's got the rock. Los overthrew. Silent Soldier got the interception. He's been driving, running the clock down. He's in the red zone, trying to go in. Doesn't want to settle for that field goal. He's been running the ball when he gets down here. It looks like he's going to pass. He's hit that wheel route before. He's going up top, and he hangs on. Silent Soldier is going to take the lead. 17-13, Scott, pending the extra point. Yeah, those aren't always easy. Silent Soldier coming roaring back against Los. We had a completion out to the 47 as McNair found Cumberland. So 41 seconds to go in this one, trailing by three. And Marcus Allen is starting to get bottled up. This time at the 45, he's got Jason Myers as his kicker, so I say at least he needs about 15 yards. Yeah, he's got a few 15 to feel very confident. Glock ticking away with only one timeout in his back pocket. <clears throat> Watch for pressure off both edges here for Misery, and he's got to drop and take a user read in the middle of the field. And there he's it is. out the backfield. McNair, quick throw, and Allen will get out of bounds at the 42, so that'll stop the clock. One timeout. 32 seconds to go in a big third and five. Good play design there. Get the ball quick to Marcus Allen on that quick flat. We need one more of those here for a first down. Scano is tied in in some of these situations, but this time he'll empty out the backfield once again. Got Moss. And he finds. 
drags Randy Moss, and he can't hold on. This is what I'm talking about right now. Stay composed, True Boy. You made a great read. You can see here he finds Moss one on one, wins the vertical battle. Moss goes up, drops the ball in traffic. He stayed composed. That's a big opportunity now. Fourth and five, game on the line. Boy, we have not seen Randy Moss drop many of those since the 99 overall found its way into salary cap. Big fourth and five, 26 seconds to go. Needs a conversion. You go back to Moss here. Picks up the blitz. Quick throw. It's a comeback route to Brown, and that's at the 27. Huge. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. The young man, Eli Trueboy Clayton, staying composed in the biggest moment of this game. We've seen him lose his control, his emotion in previous matches. He's now in field goal range with an opportunity for a touchdown. So 21 seconds to go. Now you can think about working your way for the George W. No sack, though. Can't take a sack here. And there, some time in the pocket. Throw it away. All coverage, and he'll just throw the ball away, as you said, partner. Yeah, good decision right there. You can feel the tension in this room right now with this game coming down to the wire. Both players laser-focused, eyes on the screen here. True boy, the worst in this situation is a sack. Do not force any throw. You're already in field goal range. Does have one timeout in his back pocket. Love this look right here. Double streaks. And he'll throw to Brown once again, and he tiptoes for the second time this drive, this time at the 16. Big time catch. How big has Tim Brown been on this sideline? You can see right there, right? Catches on the sideline, tiptoes, first down, 11 seconds. So we're going to watch those tips in the back of the end zone for interceptions here. First and 10 goes to Marcus Allen. Questionable play call there, my friend. Well, that was a, a, a call why you're seeing him run there is because he was anticipating a pass commit from Misery. It was a passing situation. If he got the look there, he'd bowl everyone over and get a chance to punch it in. This is for the tie. Well, he had some pressure off the edge, gets it through. Then you call timeout with seven seconds, and now you leave three seconds on the clock in a tie game here. Dare I say, we might go to overtime. Could come back to uh, bite him here. He does squib it. See if he gets on the ground, he will. Hence so we lost ball. nothing. Let's go to Zach for a quick game break. Scott, the game is on the line over here. It is crunch time. Fourth and 10, 20 seconds left. Los has the ball. He trails Silent Soldier by four. 43-yard line, he was moving it, but started to drop a couple passes. He's now got a fourth and 10 for the game. Can Los convert off the play action fake? He's rolling left, looking, trying to find a receiver, has nothing, goes to the sideline, converts. Out of bounds, Scott, I'll keep you guys posted on this game. All right, opening kickoff here of overtime. We got two absolute hot ones going down here in game number one. And Deion Sanders, I thought, might have a walk-off. <sighs> little spin move back to the inside. And, and Misery, who won the toss, will start. Yeah, and if you're true, boy, the very first thing you have to worry about is the route combination we had previously. Chad Johnson breaking down that sideline, opening up off the comeback on the right edge. Watch out for that if you're true, boy. Heard some screaming in our second match. We'll get you to that one momentarily. So he picks up. That's close to the first down. They're going to mark it second in inches. And a great way to start this overtime here for Misery. Another inside run. You get in these second and short situations. These are great opportunities to really target downfield options. Deep crosses, deep posts. You know, that's the thing about overtime rules. I mean, you can have a walk-off touchdown. A field goal would give it back to True Boy. Let's go to Zach with a very important game break. After that huge fourth and 10 conversion, Los with seven seconds to go, silences the soldier. He takes the lead and he was so hyped. Yeah, big time hype over there as Los was in control for most of that game, Gibbs, and then had to come back in that one. Just tell you, the man's on a mission. That's the only way to describe it. <laughs> this is a deep throw. Oh my. And it's not held on. He threw a bomb and then dropped the F-bomb. Yeah, that is what we're seeing right here from Moss is a little bit of the drops in this one. True Boy, you can see he never clicked on to the deep defender there. He had three guys in position, but doesn't click on to try and go for a pick or swat there. Got lucky on that drop. Second and 10. They both dropped the bomb there. 
Watch for Johnson again, deep post over the middle. Got him. Going to the air again, you called it, partner. Right in the middle of the field. Now he's in business at the 44-yard line. Just an update, Lose did end up hanging off those few ticks on the clock, so he is 1-0, awaiting True Boy, who's in an absolute battle with misery. Joey Bosa. Four. Big time play in the interior of the defense right there. Joey Bosa playing a big role in this game for True Boy. You know, this really feels like a game that's going to come down into who makes the big user play first to really take advantage of closing out this overtime period. Bunch to the right, little motion across the formation. Julio Jones needs 11 for a first. Up underneath, and there is Julio, and there is a huge diff arm. Usually he is low. Lonnie Ballantyne, but this time he gets absolutely stiff-armed by Julio Jones. Yeah, and great underneath option there to Julio Jones. <laughs> Get that man the ball, let him do the rest of the work right there. Now Misery in business driving here. That's a get off of me moment at the 32. Uh -oh. And Lynch has some space. Oh. He's down to the 13-yard line. <sighs> Maybe he is ready for the cruise. He's 100K on the line. <laughs> He could go on a pretty nice cruise. He brought it with him. He, he could just go right here, get his flippy floppies, get out of here. I'm on a boat. <laughs> We're tied. Need 16 apiece, ball to 13. Need to bring the safety up in the run game. That's, I mean, he's starting to run the ball really well on you. You're in this part of the field. You got to really kind of sell out against the guy who wants to run the ball here. So bring that safety up in the box and make a play. Shoot one of these gaps. A touchdown would end it. A field goal would allow True Boy to have a possession. And he is on the user. You can see him moving him in the back right here. That's the user defender, the deep safety. Shoot this gap there. Or here. And he'll hand off. There's a stiff arm by Marshawn Lynch. And he'll mark him down at the 10-yard line. So a second and six. I'll tell you what, these runs right here from this formation really open up. When you start committing that deep safety like you just saw there, what that opens up is the backside slant to one of your outside receivers. That's what you now have to watch out for here. Is this slant there or a backside slant here if you're going to go to a pass? Because the safety is now vacated from the deep middle part of the field. So that's the primary way you could attack this style with a passing offense. True Boy has used his final timeout here in the overtime period. Can't ice the kicker even. If it comes down to a field goal. Second and six, I formation. And Lynch dot in the eye. Pitch it to the Lost outside. The there is Lynch. And that was user on user, and True Boy rose to the challenge. A, a phenomenal user play by True Boy on the deep safety. He recognizes toss, he gets out wide, evades the blockers, and is able to win that one on one tackle. He's using Malcolm Jenkins, the campus hero. He'll go to Lynch here, and that's going to bring up fourth down and very conservative call. It kind of feels like, what, what if he's a little fake here? You know, get a little cute and learn a little fake, a little pitch. That's why you're broadcasting <laughs> games, my man. Kicks it through, oh, and it's man. true. And forget about the clock. The clock is not a factor. You see 141 there? Doesn't exist. Your boy's going to get a possession no matter what. And here he goes. I, I like that that he used the timeouts there to get his, his right uh, defense on the field. Uh, True boy shooting the gap there, right? But now you have an opportunity here again. You got to get the field goal. If you don't get a field goal here, the game's over. Right? So you have an opportunity for True boy, another championship drive like you had on that last uh, in, in fourth quarter to tie the game. Another opportunity here for the young man. That was Tyreek Hill, Kansas City Chiefs. He was there at the club series. Super fast and a super nice guy at the same time. Almost broke it out there. First and 10. Field goal would continue the overtime. A touchdown would end it. We're with the play clock here. And Marcus oh, Allen no. gets down. caught up in traffic there, but able to work it to the 42, gain of seven. I'll tell you what, both players on the, uh, okay. you, you heard True Boy there say, oh no. It, you know, he saw an opportunity, an alley to run there with Allen. You heard the same thing on that last possession uh, by Misery. He ended up getting shut down in the red zone, had to kick the field goal. So two missed opportunities on these overtime drives. Second three. 
Marcus Allen once again. Fight. There's a couple oh, missed fuck. tackles by Misery, and now he's at the 46. Fight for me. He's got 26 carries for 156 yards. Wow. Dominating the line of scrimmage. He spent the most on his ro uh, roster on the all line, crafting his team. That's why. Back to Marcus Allen. Fight. Fight. And he I like almost it. Let's go. broke free. You can hear True Boy virtually encouraging Marcus Allen. Let's Listen, take a look at it. All that fighting, but at some point when you break tackles like this on a play, consistently keep moving the ball downfield, your likelihood to fumble increases. So be very careful with the onion here. The misery's got to get better or at the battle. Oh, good. You know, when the two players come together, they have a battle. Literally. He doesn't have battle ready. As we saw why, we've seen A, but True Boy has been very good at winning those one-on-one -on -one battles with Marcus Allen. Yeah, and that is a, uh, a newer mechanic to the game where literally you, you get engaged with a defender with the ball carrier, an icon will pop up on the screen. The first player to push that button wins what we call there, as you were mentioned, the tackle battle. Uh, just a, a, a fun way to introduce a little more skill uh, in the open field. So you'll see Spot Me Please later on today. He chooses the battle-ready chemistry to have an advantage. Going to the sidelines. Oh and it's tied in, pulls it in at the 15. Amar, uh, Jason Mero is the guy that he, that True Boy said he <laughs> likes on his earlier. offense as the biggest sleeper. He had a bit, mid, uh, uh, big play right here to tie your kill. Could have maybe threatened that safety there for a touchdown. So is he in the red zone or the dead zone? First and 10 at the 15. This is where you got to watch this man right here, back of the end zone, can you get the ball up to him? He'll throw it that way, and Moss ran out of real estate, second and ten. I mean, you can almost feel these situations when you get Moss in a situation, you just, okay, this is where the ball is going, and that's where you see it. Great opportunity now. It, it's tough in these spots, though, because you know you got a field goal range. You don't want to turn it over. Game would be over. Marcus Allen this Dion? time gets stood up wow. by Deion Sanders. Didn't know you had it in you, bro. The ultimate dilemma for a Madden player. Third and 12, you're in field goal range. If you turn it over, the game is over. The safe conservative play call here is to run the ball, get down, kick a field goal D up. But champions go for it here and convert. So third and 12. Forget about the clock, we're in overtime. Love the play call, let's go. Plenty of time. Nothing's open, throw it away. Gotta throw it away, throw it away. Don't risk it, don't oh, risk it. And he fumbles, but he fumbles out of bounds. And my partner over here is absolutely losing it. I just lost my lunch and I wasn't <laughs> even eating anything. Now though, kick the field goal. That's Delaware, if you're misery. And Misery's not buying it. Oh. He had him wide open, Gibbs, but Dion makes back-to-back -back heroics and wins Misery the game. Oh. <laughs> My goodness. I like the showmanship. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, <laughs> game one of the day, <laughs> and we get a fake Fig Newton for the bread? And he had a guy open. He, he had was a man wide open. open. Oh my, holy smokes, holy <laughs> we, guacamole. Uh, we gotta take a look at this again. Oh my goodness, he runs this. the fake. McNair. Open. open, I'm open. Neon Dion Primetime Sanders for the bread, for your guy, Misery. Take it on the two seed. And you ask yourself, why do you have a Dion on the roster? Back to back huge plays for Misery. And you talked about it. You said when Misery was kicking his fugal, what if he faked it? <laughs> True Boy does the same. And he's going to take the L, is Get what's going to happen to True Boy. Let's go to Drea down on the field. Thanks so much, Scott. Well, it's the play that everybody's talking about. Take me through that sequence and why you didn't fall for the fake. Uh, whew, that took some nuts, man. Um, <laughs> no, I ain't supposed to say that. But um, So when he goes and hikes it, and, you know, as soon as I saw he wasn't kicking it, he had it open because I blitzed everybody. I didn't have like a cloud flat on the right side. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I saw him do that, I just chased after the kicker. It's, I had to get him. Well, congratulations. You just beat the number two Madden player in the world. What does that mean to you coming in on the live big stage? 
Uh, it feels good, man. True Boy is one of the best this year, one of the most consistent. Um, but, you know, everyone's so close in playing field that, you know, you just got to take care of one person at a time. Scott and Gibbs talked about the nerves when you're on a stage like this playing with so much at stake. How do you persevere through that and just try to stay as calm as you can? Because we could tell you had some jitters up there. Yeah, when I missed that field goal, everyone probably thought I was nervous. I just pressed A too early, screwed me up. Um, but, yeah, man, you just got to relax. Can't let the nerves get the best of you because you're going to wind up losing and going 0-3. All right, well, congratulations. Let's send it to Dave and Rico. Thank you, Drea. Well, Rico...